Hello everyone, we will learn about firemen's outfits. Introduction Firefighter equipment is one of the important devices that ships must be equipped with used to ensure that firefighters can safely enter the fire scene to perform tasks such as searching for trapped persons detecting fires and extinguishing fires. Yo, we will discuss about firemen's outfit on board a vessel. Firefighters play a crucial role in ensuring safety and saving lives in emergency situations. We will consider components of fireman's outfit, including the protective suit, helmet, boots, gloves, and much more. Fireman's outfits on board the vessel are regulated by SALAS and the Fire Safety Systems Code. Fireman's protective clothing is designed to protect the skin from heat radiating from a fire, from burns, and scalding by steam. They are manufactured from material which is flameproof, water-resistant, and easy to clean. The fireman's outfit consists of a set of personal equipment and a breathing apparatus. The personal equipment are Protective clothing, trouser and jacket Boots and gloves Helmet with face shield Fire axe and waist belt Safety lamp Safety line Fireman's outfit should be kept ready for use in an easily accessible location that is permanently and clearly marked but in positions which are not likely to be cut off in the event of a fire. What are the fire safety system's code requirements for a firefighter's outfit? Material of protective clothing shall to protect the skin from the heat radiating from the fire, from burns and scalding by steam. The outer surface shall be water resistant. Boots shall be of rubber or other electrically non-conducting material. Rigid helmet shall provide effective protection against impact. Electric safety lamp shall be an approved type with a minimum burning period of 3 hours. Electric safety lamps on tankers and those intended to be used in hazardous areas shall be of an explosion-proof type. Axe shall be with a handle provided with high-voltage insulation. Breathing apparatus shall be a self-contained compressed air-operated breathing apparatus for which the volume of air contained shall be capable of functioning for at least 30 minutes. All air cylinders for breathing apparatus shall be interchangeable. For each breathing apparatus a fireproof lifeline of at least 30 m in length shall be provided. The lifeline shall be capable of being attached by means of a snap hook to the harness of the apparatus or to a separate belt in order to prevent the breathing apparatus becoming detached when the lifeline is operated. As per SALAS requirements, ships shall carry at least two firefighters' outfits. For ships constructed on or after July 1, 2014, a minimum of two two-way portable radio telephone apparatus for each fire party for firefighters' communication shall be carried on board. Those two-way portable radio telephone apparatus shall be of an explosion-proof type or intrinsically safe. What is self-contained breathing apparatus? Self-contained breathing apparatus, it is a portable device that provides a supply of breathable air to individuals working in hazardous environments such as fighting fires, entering oxygen-deficient voids or tanks. SCBA consists of a face piece or mask that covers the wearer's face, a harness to secure it to the body, an air cylinder for storing compressed air, a regulator to control airflow, a breathing hose to deliver air to the wearer, and safety features such as pressure gauges and alarms. What is requirements for SCBA? Let's check in Fire Safety Systems Code. As per Fire Safety Systems Code the volume of air contained in the cylinders shall be at least 1200 liters and be capable of functioning for at least 30 minutes. All air cylinders for breathing apparatus shall be interchangeable. Compressed air breathing apparatus shall be fitted with an audible alarm and a visual or other device which will alert the user before the volume of the air in the cylinder has been reduced to no less than 200 liters. How to calculate quantity of air inside cylinder 
For calculate quantity of air inside cylinder you need to multiply the volume of the cylinder by the pressure in bars. For example, as per our ship certificate for SCBA cylinders, volume most of them 6 liters. We need to check the pressure inside of our cylinder and multiply it for the volume of our cylinder. If the volume of your cylinder 6 liters and during inspection you found 270 bar, that's mean that you have 1,620 liters of air in this cylinder. What Salas say about SCBA? As per Salas requirements two spare charges shall be provided for each required breathing apparatus. That's mean, for example, if as per your fire plan you have four sets of SCBA on board, there should be four main cylinders and eight spare cylinders, in a fully ready state with a minimum air quantity of 1,200 liters. But, if cargo ships are equipped with suitably located means for fully recharging the air cylinders need carry only one spare charge for each required apparatus. That's mean, for example, if as per your fire plan you have four sets of SCBA on board and installed onboard air compressor for cylinders, there should be four main cylinders and four spare in a fully ready state with a minimum air quantity of 1,200 liters. Passenger ships carrying not more than 36 passengers are equipped with suitably located means for fully recharging the air cylinders free from contamination, need carry only one spare charge for each required apparatus. In passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers, at least two spare charges for each breathing apparatus shall be provided. The administration may require additional sets of personal equipment and breathing apparatus, having due regard to the size and type of the ship. Additionally, as per Regulation 19, Carriage of Dangerous Goods, at least two self-contained breathing apparatuses additional to those required by Regulation 10 shall be provided. Two spare charges suitable for use with the breathing apparatus shall be provided for each required apparatus. What kinds of inspections should be carried out on board? As per MSC 1432. Every week we need to examine all breathing apparatus and EEBD cylinder gauges to confirm they are in the correct pressure range. Every year we need Check breathing apparatus air recharging systems, if fitted, for air quality. Check all breathing apparatus face masks and air demand valves are in serviceable condition. Every five years need to perform hydrostatic testing of all steel self-contained breathing apparatus cylinders. Learning target. Familiarize oneself with the equipment requirements and composition for firefighters. Master the wearing and use of firefighter equipment in the examination of ship fire prevention and personal safety responsibility of crew members. Learning content. Equipment requirements. Firefighter Equipment Composition Firefighter Equipment Wearing and Use Wear Firefighter Equipment Test Firefighter Equipment Requirements According to the SOLAS Convention, each vessel should be equipped with at least two sets of firefighter equipment and additional firefighter equipment should be provided according to the type and tonnage of the vessel. Firefighter equipment should be stored in an easily accessible and distant location from each other. Fireman's Outfit Composition of Firefighter Equipment According to the requirements of the SOLAS Convention and the International Code for Fire Safety Systems, firefighter equipment consists of one set of personal equipment, one respirator each, and one fire resistant safety rope. Personal Equipment Firefighters' personal equipment includes long boots protective clothing fire, helmets, fire access and safety lights, breathing apparatus, gas sealer, 1,200 liter, respiratory mask, fire resistant safety rope. The length of the fire resistant safety rope shall be at least 30 m. Fire resistant safety ropes have two main functions. One is to display channels. Secondly, as a tool for external communication, it conveys information. 
Firefighter equipment wearing and use. Inspection of firefighter equipment before wearing. Visual examination. Air pressure check. Pipeline A tightness. Low voltage alarm. Mask or tightness. Wearing fireman's outfits. Put on boots first and pants and fasten the safety rope. Back respirator adjust the tightness and open the bottle valve. Put on your shirt properly. Wear a full face mask, press it tightly against the face and breathe evenly. Wear a fire helmet hood gloves and carry safety lights and fire axe. Check the respirator before use. The first step is to check that the transparent window of the mask is clear and undamaged. The tie is normal, and the supply valve is connected to the mask normally. The second step is to check the pressure in the cylinder. Open the bottle head valve. As the pressure rises, you will hear a short sound from the residual pressure alarm. When the flat head valve is fully open, the pressure in the cylinder is not less than 30 MPa. The third step is to check the air tightness of the mask. Turn the tie to the front of the mask, stick the mask to the face, take a deep breath, and the mask will not fall off, indicating that the mask has good air tightness. Let's give you a demonstration. The mask is air tight. The fourth step is to check the alarm pressure of the residual pressure alarm. Put on the mask and take a deep breath. The supply valve opens automatically. At this time, the residual air in the pipeline starts to be discharged. When the pressure drops to 5 to 6 MP3, an alarm should be triggered. The first step to wear the fire detection suit is to wear fireproof boots and dress down with the fire detection suit. And adjust the shoulder straps according to your height. The second step is to fasten the seatbelt and refractory rope. The third step is to knee on one knee with the respirator on the back. Clench the shoulder straps with both hands and carry the respirator behind your back. And to adjust the shoulder strap and waist belt according to your height. The fourth step is to wear a fire detection suit. Jackets turn the mask over to the back. Take out the pressure gauge for easy viewing. Button it up and fasten the belt. The fifth step is to put on the helmet and adjust the mask. The brim of the helmet faces back to protect our neck. Open the bottle mouth around. Step 6. Bring your headgear and gloves. Take the explosion proof lamp and hold the happy ass. The posture of exploring the fire is to draw a cross before and after the footsteps. Test. That's what this course is all about. Thank you.